So I don't have an end for the recap. So I mean, if, if, in other words, if current Big Bang theory does fall down, we're still we're, we're doesn't escape anything. Could take anything away from escape creation. Nothing. I uh, not only, but read Stanley Yaki's brilliant annihilating criticism of Big Bang steady state. Really? Yes. No question at all. He can be ignored. He cannot be answered. Um, what what hmm. book is that in? Oh, in his Gifford lectures, he has it in two or three places, oh. and he has uh, he has simplified statements, but he has ten or fifteen works, and he wrote in the seventies and eighties. I don't know when no. he's still alive. Is he still? No, alive? he is. He was. He, well, oh, you he, said he was, he was just here last fall. Oh right? yes. Oh no, no. Ava Maria. But, uh, but he is so easy to dismiss. But I want people to refute him, not to dismiss him. I, I know he had. I know he had critiqued steady state. I didn't. Oh my, I'm devastating, no possibility yeah. that scientifically and mathematically the steady state can get off the ground. I just, I didn't, really look, I didn't recall him critiquing uh, Big, Bang. Big Bang. Oh, Big Bang. See, the Big Bang still doesn't tell what is the nature of the cosmic content of the bang. So it's kind of a euphemism for oh, yeah. to avoid the beginning. Somehow it began. You go back to plot time, that's it. Ten to the negative fifty-third second. Well, whatever second is that? Well, did you rush out and see that? Oh, I said so. Sorry, go by. Well, they had, they had, they had well the best said. that is is a mathematical statement. Right. No one, you're a scientist now. You do research. Well, I've done so. No, no, but I say no one's ever what? Yeah, they don't. Seen it? No. <laughs> That's all I'm asking. They don't have it on sale at Walmart. No, no, it's not not for sale, cheap. Uh, they're not going well, so we're letting the prices go. It's all in the realm of theoretical mathematics. Now, so that's this is what uh, Pokinghorn and McGrath are theoretical mathematicians, and uh, uh, Yaki is a, uh, is a mathematician but not a theoretical physicist. Well, he's a nuclear physicist. He's well, a nuclear physicist, yeah. correct. But see, he's an old man. And what does an old man know? <laughs> <laughs> a lot more than I do. <laughs>
uh, multi-universe theory. Oh, I, that, would the, that kind of go into the New Age? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. There is no criteria. See, this started with Hawking's and, and, uh, and uh, with the uh, with Heisenberg's indeterminacy principle uh, that they're all turned. And then we had a multi-billion dollar tax ripoff in America for scientists to do research to what? You know, you just asked the question. Oh, Intelligence someplace else. Oh, SETI, yeah. No data whatsoever that there's intelligence, only on the Earth. So that is, why is it designed just for life, uniquely? Uh, the data's in, I mean, you can not know it or not believe it, but it's just here, it's not Mars, it's not any place known in the solar system. Even the galaxy. The galaxy, and the Earth's galaxy is not the only what? Galaxy. It's not the only galaxy, that's just one of the. And this is this is evidence. This is not a revival meeting or uh, anything like that. But if the, I forget uh, what microsecond it is, if the sun were ten thousandths of a second closer to the Earth, the Earth would burn up. If it's ten thousandths or whatever the, the equation is, farther away from the Earth, it'd freeze to death. Well, how did that come about? And why does it go on that way? John Clayton has over a hundred conditions such as that necessary for life to exist on Earth the way that it does. Yes. And he said that if you take the combined probability and you take all of the planets in the universe and you divide them, you come up with a number greater than 10 to the 50th power, which means it's impossible for us to be here. And it is irrational, but who's the irrational one in this discussion? Christian. That is irrational as you could get. Is that the only option you have? And I'm the dummy. I don't think all the dummies are limited to myself. I'm not, I'm not a, a single instrument of a gender of dummies. I think they're all over. And that, it's irrational, but what's the option? They can't stand the option. Absolutely. Well, then it's a face statement. It has nothing to do with data. It has nothing to do with going where the truth leads you. So, Aldous Huxley, I want to believe so I can follow my erotic desire. I don't want you to be a god so I can follow my erotic desire. All right, and that's okay for a little while. Then you have AIDS and you want me to take care of you. Yeah. And you have uh, death, death by excitement. See, some people uh, cannot play musical beds. You know, they'd be dead. <laughs> So there's retributive justice, even in, <laughs> in that. Uh -huh. No, there's a design. Yeah, they, uh, they, they uh, what's, that, what's that term where you don't comply with the specs? Sure. But see, science says it's committed to what? Truth. Truth. To the specs. They're the ones that started it. I didn't start it. But then when some come up that they don't like, what do they do? They reject it. Well, that rejection is not based on a scientific position. Back to the design argument, I keep coming back. Hume pretty much, he tried to demolish the design argument. He pretty much said it's based by analogy and we can't. Now notice that Hume thought science was radical empiricism, right. experience. We do not have experience right now. See, experience location is right now. We can't experience the past. We can't experience the future. So I have no experience of a miracle. Therefore, what? A miracle. Right? Okay, notice the deduction in the syllogism. Now, so do you think that when, uh, when um, Haley does his, his design yeah. argument, yeah, yeah. I mean, he does it after Hume. Oh, yes. Which I find a lot of people, philosophers, don't seem to understand that. No, but the church liked that because it made sense, but he lasted about 25 minutes That's after he prayed. That's the problem. So, so you think the whole critique with the design argument now is really a PR argument? I have no doubt that that's correct. I don't want to not have the design argument, but I don't want the semantic load on what happened to the design argument right. to be loaded on, on Paley's 18th century uh, design or clock. See, that's what I'm trying to do my best. Well, so I understand like punting and stuff like that. They'll the critique the designer and say it's, it doesn't prove anything, and yet they'll use it as evidence of rationality. 
So I'm not sure what, maybe they're saying is proof. Like well, the but the design are, it has to go, uh, I, I'm committed methodologically then mm -hmm. to the history and logic of ideas. Mm -hmm. You have to trace them just to locate. People don't mean the same thing as these words shift meaning, exactly. semantic loads right. in history. But there's always evidence for those semantic load shifts. Right. That's what I'm committed to doing that right. methodologically. Without that, I really don't want to discuss with people because it's in a vacuum. Right. 